Um, the first field we did, actually, we're kind of looking at it right here. Um, back several years ago, uh, in 2006, um, we, grew, uh, we grew a wheat crop for the first time and put that into our rotation so we could tile ditch. Uh, instead of tile ditching in mud and snow and freezing rain through the winter, we thought it would be nice to do it in the summer, why the conditions were actually nice to do it. And um, my dad and, and one of the guys uh, uh, at the co-op that I work with had suggested that, uh, that I try some uh, Canadian giant clover and, uh, and throw that into, uh, into the mix and frost seed it with my urea. And I thought that seemed like a good idea and it was cheap and so we did it and we had a really beautiful stand of, of clover after we harvested the wheat. And um, it was sort of an aha moment for us in the fact that um, we were seeing uh, life of different sorts that we've not seen in our soils. We were seeing butterflies, we were seeing bees. When we were ditching, um, the ditching machine was uh, in those trenches, we were seeing really, really deep roots with uh, nodules on them. And, uh, and again, we saw this earthworm activity. And um, at that time, we weren't no-tilling, and we actually green manured that crop in. And, um, and we, had about a, we had about a 40 bushel increase in this field. What we had, um, had the clover and wheat combination on versus just a straight corn, there was about a 40 bushel difference in yield, and we really saw some, just it was, it was an aha moment, one of those that kind of wowed us, and uh, it's like there's something to this, and we really need to start going down the path of studying it. So we've been, we've been on this journey, you might say, since uh, 2006, uh, to where now we're really trying to cover a big majority of our acres with diverse species of cover crops. One of the things that I want to try, um, we do do some corn on corn. Uh, we do a few hundred acres of corn on corn, um, about two thirds corn, third beans. So the, the corn on corn, getting a cover crop uh, that's of good value between that seems to be difficult. And one of the things, because of our wheat experiences with giant mammoth clover and uh, so forth, uh, we have tried some uh, giant mammoth clover uh, in our corn. We had, uh, we had sowed it, or uh, broadcast it, at about V6, V8 corn in early June. And uh, our hope is to establish a, a, a legume crop um, and then go back and no-till corn into it uh, the following year. Um, because of the dryness that we're experiencing, um, it might just be one of those experiments. But, uh, but we're going to continue to try to find some sort of a legume crop or a mixture of legumes crops that can be synergistic uh, with the corn, a live corn crop, and uh, would be a good uh, corn on corn type of cover crop species.